Welcome all you future educators, current educators, and lifelong learners to another video where we take technology, teaching strategies, and emerging trends to try and create engaging educational experiences. In this video, we are working with Stanley, a novice instructional designer who has just finished a freelance project. Now, everyone is happy with the project. However, the organization needs the project files and the finished project for their records in case updates are needed in the future and Stanley isn't available. He knew this was coming as it was in his contract when the project started, but now the time has come to deliver. They may not be totally confident in how to share his files, but we are, so let's go ahead and walk through it. All right, now remember, at the end of a design project, we need to pass all the files to the client that are related to the project. This includes not just the finished project, but the actual build files, items used in the project such as audio and image files, and even project documentation such as the needs analysis. They need these because two or three years down the road, they may need to update something and you may have moved on from freelance design or you may have too many other projects and they need a starting point where they can contract out the work again. Also, they more than likely paid for it, so we need to go ahead and give it to them. So unless it is specifically written in your original contract that you aren't delivering the source files at the end, be prepared to hand them over. Now passing over the files isn't as hard as it sounds. There are basically two ways to pass off the media a hard copy, and a cloud copy. Now again, if your contract specifies the way to deliver these, follow that, but if it doesn't, then go ahead and work out with your client which one works for them and is the easiest format to get it to them. A hard copy is basically some kind of disk or drive or something like that that you hand the organization that has the media on it. Now a cloud copy is sending it up to the internet so that they can go ahead and download all the resources on their own machine. When preparing for either format, organization of the files before you put them on the media is key. You can create any folder structure that makes logical sense. Now I generally do a folder for project files and I put some notes in there that basically walk them through how to find everything in case they need it for future updates. Then I do one for placing on the web and there's a note on there about how to get the completed project up onto the internet. That way they have everything they need. Now lastly, Unless you have a really good contact with the client, I would go ahead and put some kind of small instructions document in the primary folder so that they know exactly what to do with both of the folders, you know, the just in case. Now remember that the lesson development software like Storyline or Captivate or SoftChalk, they create a ton of files. So being clear on what to do with them in your instructions will save you and the client a lot of headaches down the road. From here, you can either move it to a thumb drive or a CD. Once done, you can ship that off to them or hand it off to them. If you ship it, I would recommend paying a little bit extra to get the tracking code on it or a signature at the end as proof that they received it. If you are handing it to them in a meeting, just get a signed confirmation document or have them send some kind of confirmation email before you go. It's okay if you don't get those, but I always believe in covering yourself. If you're moving it to the cloud, you'll need to send a note to your client to download it. If it has anything more than just a click of this link, be sure to include some instructions in that email. I would also set a time limit on how long that you would leave it in cloud storage space and then notify the client that they have until that date to download it. And lastly, I would also ask for a confirmation email once they've downloaded it, again just to go ahead and cover yourself. An easy way to get it into the cloud is to use Google Drive. Simply go to drive.google.com after you have created an account. And now realize that if you have a Gmail account or a YouTube account, they're all connected to Google. So if you have one of those, you already have a Google Drive account. You just have to go to drive.google.com and sign in with it. Once in there, simply go to the upper left-hand corner and click Create, and then select Folder. Name it something related to the organization, then double-click the folder to enter it. Once in the folder, you simply drag and drop the folders you created into the blank area. Once everything is there, use your breadcrumb navigation to back out of the folder. Then right click on it and then select share. In the pop-up window that appears, click in the get a link section and then change the options to anyone with the link and then change viewer to editor. Once your settings are in place, go ahead and copy the link. Now you've got the link to send to the client. 
Like Stanley, you can hop on that email and send the link to the client with basic instructions. Now remember Stanley, be sure to give them some basic instructions on how to complete the download and be sure to also put in that time frame that they have to download it. Also, be sure to remind them to let you know when they have all the files. And it's as simple as that to get those files over to your client at the end of a project. So what do you guys think? Would you guys rather use the hard media or would you guys usually send it into the cloud? And if you do use the cloud, what type of software would you use? Dropbox, Box, Google Drive? Why don't you go ahead and post it in the comments so that we can kind of see how everybody's sharing these files back and forth. And if you want more videos like this in the future, go ahead and be sure to subscribe as we'll try to get new content out to help you guys make those educational experiences just a little bit better. In the meantime, good luck, keep building, and look forward to seeing what you guys create.